Mr. Brown, I live here in Florida, greatest state on the planet. It's proven by science. I'm sorry. Texas is number two, and it's a strong number two, but Florida is still <laughs> number one. On the ballot this November is Amendment 3 to the Florida Constitution, which will allow recreational marijuana use for adults. Believe it or not, there are 24 states in the United States that allow recreational marijuana use. You can just go buy it and smoke it. It doesn't matter. Smoke it, gummies. There's a variety of things. Right. There's 47 states that allow medical marijuana, and there's a variety of formats for that. And even here in Florida, there's dispensaries around. But this brings up an interesting question for pilots and mechanics and anybody who works in aviation, frankly. If my state allows recreational marijuana or medical marijuana or CBD, does that mean the FAA is up on that? And I'm sure you're not going to be the least bit surprised to hear, no, they are not a fan. Don't do it. I uh, I had been thinking about that for a while, and uh, our, our folks up at AOPA sent me recently, sent me a slide to include in our Rusty Potter presentation. You got the same thing, I'm sure, yep. that basically says that uh, the FAA follows federal law. Surprise, surprise, right? Uh, and they don't really pay much attention to state law. So, you know, you may be perfectly legal to be carrying, you know, some pot in your back pocket in Colorado, but um, don't go, don't go get in an airplane or, or, or even if you're stay fly, flying in the state of Colorado, because, because you, you may well find yourself on the wrong end of an enforcement action. Um, if you get ram checked or, or God forbid, have an incident or an accident. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because the federal air surgeon says, if you test positive for something, even if it's CBD, that you thought you were okay, no, no, that's a positive test. You you now have a challenge. And let me mention that, because the CBD thing is something that didn't exist as kids in a, when we were kids. I mean, back in the 30s, when we were young. <laughs> but... You know, it, it's one of those things that has become kind of ubiquitous because it doesn't affect your mental capacity. It, it, it's got some of the cannabinoids in it, but it's in shampoos, it's in lotions, it's in arthritis creams, it's in all kinds of things. And it's not always labeled real clearly on the front of the package. It might be in the small print on the back, but that will cause you to test positive. And that's where that federal air surgeon is like, yeah, it doesn't matter why you tested positive, you tested positive. So for gentlemen like yourself and my, I think people who are regular viewers can tell, we take an enormous amount of pride in our appearance, the hair care products, the facial scrubs. We really do get into that stuff pretty heavily. I know, Pat, you're, you're a big fan. Well, I do have a favorite loofah, I will tell you that. <laughs> but you know, that is one of those things, a lot of people don't even think about this because you know maybe their spouse is buying things at the drugstore, the grocery yeah. store, and it just shows up in the shower or, you know, I've got an achy joint and I just, oh, that's yeah. in the cabinet and I rub it on. That yeah. might be a really bad idea. So you do have to, in this modern age, start looking at things. And, you know, those those 47 states with medical marijuana, that also includes three territories, Puerto Rico, Guam. And did you ever think we were going to say Guam on this podcast? <laughs> And the U.S. Virgin Islands. So it really is a federal thing. It's everywhere. There is no sense of humor about this. And beyond the uh, the FAA enforcement we could be looking at, we've talked about this before. It may be an insurance company thing. If you end up in a position where you swap paint, bent metal, and God forbid somebody gets hurt, you might end up with your insurance company saying, oh, no, you were operating an aircraft and you tested positive. We're not covering this. So this is a big deal. So I don't care how you vote. If you're a Floridian on November 5th or in any other state, I don't care what you're doing. But if you're going to fly or be a mechanic or a dispatcher or any of those things that you can get a certificate for, maybe you want to behave yourself. Yeah. Be careful about that. There's no sense of humor, like you said. Well, it's a, it's a short topic, Pat, but I think it's a very important one because as I say, more and more states are legalizing or decriminalizing and CBD things, whether it's oils, creams, shampoos, lotions, whatever. I mean, it's everywhere now. Those of us involved in aviation have to kind of stay on our toes. And I know you're doing that. I trust you implicitly because I hear your references and I check every one of them. 
And so far you've been a hundred percent. So I think you are behaving yourself. Well, I appreciate that. I just, uh, you know, before we say goodbye, I'm just going to tell you that when we're done here, I'm going to go exfoliate. (laughs) (laughs) Who could blame you for that, Pat? Thanks so much. (laughs) Folks, click like on the video because I know you like this. Comment below because what are the odds you have no opinion on this? And subscribe to the channel because if you don't, Pat and I will take it personally and you just don't want to get on our bad side. We'll see you next time. Adios, buddy.